it's time to talk sports because the Detroit Lions are in Charlotte, North Carolina tonight. The team is getting ready for their final preseason game against the Carolina Panthers. Ronnie Duncan is live at a watch party at the fan cave of Lions super fan Carl Smith, known by many as Super Chef. Oh, wait a second. And Ronnie, many fans are so excited for the season, but this is still the preseason. They're ready for the real thing to yeah. take on the Chiefs. You gotta wait for the real nitty gritty. It's gonna start, of course, September 7th. That's when, of course, we take on a team that everybody here wants to see. What team is that? I said one more time, what team is that? As you can tell, we're at the man cave, and as Shayna would like to say, the fan cave of Carl Smith, who is a super chef. We'll talk to him a little bit later. But let's face it, it's a 53-man roster. This game is important, not for the starters, but for the guys who want to be the contributors on this team, the guys who want to make that cut. 53 players can make it. And Dan Campbell says, without those real 53, he has nothing. But this week and this game means a lot to everybody because a lot is on the line. Been doing that, right? Uh, the first two games, man, these guys are, they're out there. Um, and, you know, when you're a competitor, uh, you got something to fight for. I mean, you're going to, you're going to give everything you've got. Dan Campbell's can't escape the obvious. This is a big game tonight against the Carolina Panthers. They haven't won a game. We're one and one. And when you consider that there are players on this team who need to make this team, Cam Sutton says that's why the competition has been so fierce recently. No, I mean, that's, I've, that's, that's just the mentality each and every day you come out here. You know, I, I can't speak for necessary situations that, um, you know, coming from or just kind of just being in this situation. You know, I'm, I'm going getting around a new group of guys. And, you know, every year, every team is a new identity of its own. You know, we're, we're trying to still find our identity and, and, and bring, like, again, bring that mold together. Um, it's just, you just got to put the work in. That's all that matters. It's, it's just guys are just hungry. You know, again, you don't know. It's not about seventh round, first round, whatever, undrafted. You know, that stuff don't matter. You know, it's about what you put out here on this field. I love those words by Cam Sutton. It's all about what you put on the field. I've got seven-year-old Lauren Gibson, who happens to be a Lions fan. All right, give me a final score tonight. Um, 15. 15 to what? Uh, three? Yeah. All right, 15 to three. Now, of course, she's seven years old, but now let's talk to some of the more mature Lion fans. What kind of score we got? 26, maybe 42. Oh, whoa. What we got here? Um, the same thing she said. Okay. That means the next time you see her, she won't be on TV. But look, how about this? What we got here, man? I would say 14 to 7. 14 to 7. So you know we got to hear from the super chef. Super chef. Super chef. Super chef. Super chef. Super chef. 31 to 14, Detroit Lions. As you can see, I want you to look around this place. This man built this as an extension to his home. If I'm sweating, it's for all the right reasons. I'm glad because I'm wearing that holla, what do you call it? Hallelujah blue. Hawaii blue. It's all good. It's the lion. And it's back to you. It's back. <laughs> you know it's going to be a good day, a good season when R Ronnie Duncan. Ronnie is just having a good time. Just <laughs> yeah. tell the super chef to bring myself and Shayna a to-go plate. I'm into that. What a, <laughs> what a fan cave. And yes, I'm going to call it a fan cave. See all those women in there? That's right.